What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you how to draw and color Billy from Stranger Things. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of our page and draw two circles for the eyes. Let's start with the one on the left. Starting from the very top, come all the way down towards the bottom of the circle, and then back up towards the top. Now I'm gonna leave a gap in between the eyes and draw the same size circle on the right. So let's line up the top of that circle. I'm gonna bring that down towards the same height and then back up towards the top. Now we're gonna add a small highlight circle on the top left side of each eye. So bring that circle coming in and back out. And then we'll line that up on the right side. Now we're gonna draw a smaller circle in the center of each eye for the pupil, starting underneath the highlight, all the way around. And we'll fill in the center of each pupil. Let's add a curve for the eyelid. Start from the top of the eye, then it's across, and then down. Let's line up with the bottom edge of the eyes, move to the center and draw the nose, curving down and then up. Now I'm gonna move up and draw a short curve going up and then down for the bridge of the nose. Now you want to tuck the mustache underneath the nose, leaving a gap in the center. Start with two straight lines coming down. On the bottom left, go out, bend that down. Do the same thing on the right. And we'll pull this up and in underneath the nose. Let's add a fold in the center for the lower lip. Now let's move back up and draw on the eyebrows. Lining up with the outside of the eyelid, step up, curl this up and in on both sides. And then bend the eyebrow, coming in and then down. Let's curl up the brow, coming in and up on the left and right side. Let's add some thickness to the brow, starting from the bottom, go up and in. And we'll curl the eyebrow, coming in and then down towards the inside of the brow. Let's fill the eyebrows in black. Now from here we move out to the side and draw the lower half of the head. From the bottom of the eyebrow, let's step out, curl the head coming down, just bend this in underneath the mouth, go across, and then back up on the right side. And then from here we're going to bring the hair bangs down across the forehead. On the top right side, start with the curve going up, and then down, and then out on top of the left eyebrow. Let's taper this back up toward the top, and add another curl, coming down, and then out, pull this in, and then up. Let's round out the top and bring that back down towards that starting point. Going up and then back down. Let's draw the edge of the hairline going underneath. Go up and then across. Now we're going to add some curls on the right side. Starting here, go up and then in. Go back out and hook this in towards the eye. Let's work our way around the outside, going out and back in, and then from that part, go up and then down. Let's add another curl tucked in on the left side. Coming out, down, and then out towards the point. Come in and up, and then bend that back in. Let's add the ears along the side of the head. Starting over on the left, curve out, and then back in. Line it up on the right and we'll add a fold along the top. Now we're gonna work our way around the outside of the hair. From this part, let's step up, start with a point. I'm gonna curve this up toward the top and then back down towards the side. Let's add another bump, going out and then in. Then that out to create a point and pull this in toward the side of the head. 
go back up to the top and work in the right side. Going up, and then down, then this back out, and then we'll add that point. And then we'll work our way down towards the bottom of the hair. Starting back on the left, curve around the ear, and then in. Let's add a point, go around and back in. Close up and in toward the side of the head. Let's add one more point along the bottom. Coming down and in. Go up and in underneath the head. Now that we complete the head, let's move down and draw the side of the body. Starting over on the left side, just underneath the head. Curve the body going out and then down. Line this up on the right. And bring this down toward the same height. Let's bend the jacket coming back in, but we're going to leave a gap in between. And then draw a straight line going all the way up underneath the head on both sides. Now we're going to place the collar along the outside of those lines. Starting on the left, come down and out. Hang this down and back in. And it'll draw on the top of the collar. Halfway along this line, angle up and out up and in underneath the head. I'm also going to add two small buttons on either side. From the inside corner of the jacket, let's step up, put this down and up, step up, draw that twice, and then leaving a small gap in the center, we'll draw two lines for the button. Now we're going to continue working down towards the bottom of the feet. In the center, let's step down, add a curve, up and then down. Leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, curve the leg going out and down towards the left heel, move over towards the right, go out and down towards the same height. Let's round out the bottom of the feet, starting from the left heel, curve the foot, coming down and then up. Now I'm going to go back to the left side and draw on the top of the foot. I'm going to start from the outside, draw a curve going up, I'm just going to pull this down aiming towards the heel the back up towards the inside of the leg. Let's go back up to the hips, step in, curl the leg going out, and then down on top of the feet. Now we're going to add a little bit more detail to the shoes. Let's start by adding a thick sole along the bottom, and just tracing those curves across, and then we'll add a toe cap on top of the foot, bend this in, and then down towards the sole. Now let's go back up and draw on the arms. We're going to start halfway between the chin and the bottom of the jacket. So right here, curve the arm going out, and then down towards the wrist. And then from the wrist, we're going to draw a half circle for the thumb coming in and out. Close off the end with a bracket. I want to wrap three fingers around on either side. So let's start underneath the thumb, bend the first finger coming down and up around that bracket. Step down, go out, then up. And then the third finger, we're going to go out, blend into the arm, going up and in underneath the head. Let's do the same thing on the right. So we pull this in underneath the hair, continue along the top. Now let's go back down and add in the sleeve. Starting on top of the thumb, then this up, and then out. Add a trim on top, stepping up, draw that same curve. Now we're going to go in with our light skin tone marker and fill in the head and the ears. So start with the left side. And I'm just going to go around the eyes.
I'm gonna use a light blue marker and add a highlight curve along the bottom. And just fill that in. And filling in the top with a darker blue. Use this brown to fill in the mustache. that same color across the hair. Fill in the jacket with this dark gray. And once we finish coloring the shoes, we'll be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw and color Billy from Stranger Things. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your requests in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.